Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aniruddha, Victor Uniform Number no. 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. In last uh, couple of videos, uh, you saw the ICOM IC718 rig control software, which I made for the Windows operating system. I will put the link uh, to those videos in the description uh, below. Please do check it out. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I request you to do so. You may have seen in those videos uh, that that software requires this cable. It is uh, the FTDI USB ICOM programming CAT CI5 uh, cable. I purchased it uh, from a US at around 30 USD. It is a very well, well built cable, but 30 USD is a uh, quite a cost uh, for a uh, cables so i decided to make my own cable now the design that i use uh, to make my own cable is definitely not mine i will put the link to the web page uh, which showcases that design to make uh, this uh, cable what you need is this little adapter it is nothing but a usb to ttl adapter i bought it uh, from robo.in you can purchase it from anywhere you like not a problem just make sure that you use the original ftdi chip the model name is ft232rl and the reason to use uh, this original ftdi chip is so that this adapter when connected to the laptop gets easily recognized by windows 11 or any other windows operating system uh, you don't have to install the drivers separately for them it just costs 130 rupees now it has got this uh, mini usb b uh, interface so in order to connect it uh, to your laptop uh, you need to purchase this mini usb to usb a cable so this is mini usb b and this is a uh, usb a it just costs 36 rupees so both of them together is not costly at all you can easily purchase them they are easily available in india so uh, the circuit that i used to make this cable is by whiskey tango 9 mic i will put the link to this particular web page uh, in the description below so this is uh, the usb 2 ttl adapter it has got rx tx vcc and ground pins that we are going to use i've connected the rx pin to the tx pin uh, via a diode i've used in4148 the anode side connects to the rx and the cathode side connects to the TX, very simple. The VCC pin uh, with a 10K resistor in series gets connected to uh, the anode side of the diode and also to uh, the RX pin. Very simple to uh, make this uh, circuit. The RX uh, goes to the tip of the stereo plug and the ground connects to the sleeve. Now, ICOM recommends to use a monoplug. Uh, that is all that is required for the CI5 interface. But serial plugs are very easily available. We just don't connect anything uh, to the ring. This is the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. So we don't connect anything uh, to the middle pin. Now, make sure that you use a shielded cable for this. Uh, the shield gets connected to the ground on both ends. So let me show you the cable that I made. So uh, this is our adapter. You can see this is the RX pin. It gets uh, connected uh, with a diode to TX pin. This is the VCC pin. And as you saw in the circuit diagram, it gets connected through a 10k resistor to the 
to the junction of the diode and the RX. This is the ground pin and the shield of the cable gets connected to the ground pin. This is uh, the complete cable. The other end of the cable uh, is connected to the stereo plug that we saw. This end goes uh, to the ci fi interface uh, in the ICOM radio. And you connect a USB cable over here that we bought separately and connect it to laptop. So you can use this cable uh, with uh, the ICOM rig control software that I've made. I will put the link in description where you can get that software. It's on Microsoft Store. You can use it with any other software as well. And you can use it with any other ICOM uh, HF trans receiver as well that utilizes the ci fi interface. So that's it really. It is a very simple uh, cable to make, uh, very cheap to make, and it works uh, very nice. Additionally, I have added later on a uh, ferrite bead at this end. The other end already had uh, a ferrite bead uh, on the USB cable. So you can add uh, one here. And if you want, you can add one here. It doesn't matter. Uh, I've tried it with the ferrite baits and without ferrite baits, it works just the same. No problem at all. So that's it really. Uh, I hope you like uh, this video. Uh, if you have liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next videos. 73 is still there.